I'm going to share with you a project for MB Treasurista. I'll put the link to her site down below and also the products that I used on my project. I love, um, as you all know, working with the Prima doll stamps and I've been anxiously awaiting for them to arrive and I uh, was thinking of different projects that I can make um, for them um, but till now I've just been using the stamp sets from her other collections that she has created and I thought it would be cute to create a little armoire. I love decorating the tags and so it's kind of like the same concept how you would decorate a tag except that it's in the shape of an armoire. So I made a larger one for the larger dolls and then Julie Nighting released um, the smaller dolls which I believe she said they were four inches so I designed a smaller one for the four inch dolls. So I used my We Are Memory Keepers punch board and that's what inspired me to um, make the armoire. And then I use my score pal. I also use the Primrose Stack by Die Cuts with a View. It's one of my favorite stacks. And then the paper that I'm going to use to show you how to create it is by King Company, which is the Sweet Nectar Collection. It's an older collection, but really pretty bright colors. So this is a large one. You can use lightweight chipboard. Um, you can use craft card stock, and that's what I did here. And then I just layered it with design paper. So if you want that extra stability, you can use um, a thicker type of paper. And then for the front here, I add one of Misty's cherubs on the top, which was just perfect. And then for the door here, I tied it with some seam binding, which Misty carries. This was originally white, and I sprayed it with Lindy Stamp Gang salt, saltwater taffy. And then I made a faux drawer right here using some adhesive flatback pearls. And then I add some dimensionals underneath the drawer. And then so when you open it up, again, just like how you would decorate a tag, this is how you would decorate the inside of the armoire. And I just love how it turned out. So I used one of Misty's doilies, which I cut in half. This is one of the fabric hearts that I shared in a prior video. And this stamp set sentiment is by um, Diane Reedley. It's part of her Delusions collection. It's Smile. It is the key that fits the lock of everybody's heart. And then this is the Prima doll, which I Copic colored and paper pieced. And then I layered some of Misty's um, laces here. And then I also used her spray. And then I handmade these flowers using my Retro Flower Punch by EK Success. And then this is an Iron Roses flower. So they're super fun. And then again, she's coming out with a four inch doll, so I made a smaller one. But for now, I just added my Gorgeous Girl. And then these, instead of the seam binding, I made some doorknobs using Misty's acrylic flowers, and then here's the faux drawer again, and then inside I cut out this image from the design paper, and then I stamped the I Love You Little Rabbit, I Copic colored her and paper pieced her, and then these two trims also are from Misty's store, and then I made a flower using one of her laces, and then she has these white roses and then these little tiny flowers which come in a variety of different colors. They're really pretty. You can also use them as stamens to your flowers and then I also used her acrylic flowers as well. So they're super fun. I made a bunch of pre-made smaller ones. You can see they are super addicting to make and I really enjoy them. So as soon as I receive that doll stamps I'm going to make, I'm going to fill those in and I'm, I'm probably going to host a swap so um, look out for that. So let's go ahead and make these. We're going to make the small one first. Now if you're using double-sided paper, um, the only difference with that in one uh, single-sided paper is with a single-sided paper you're going to have to cut another separate paper to line the inside of the armoire and then also for the sides of the door. Um, but with a double-sided paper you don't have to do that. So just to let you know. Okay now to make the box you're going to need, it has to be five and a half by ten, and then all you're going to have to do is score at a half an inch and one inch on all four sides. So let's go ahead and do that. So half an inch and one inch, and then you can just flip it half an inch and one inch and then half an inch and one inch or you could just score the ends it's up to you nine inch and nine and a half 
So you could do either way. Okay, so let's put that to the side. And then let's score. I will fold all these score lines. And these are really cute to display in your craft room. I thought it'd just be a fun way since paper dolls and armoires just go hand in hand with each other. So now we're going to cut four slits on the bottom up to the second scored line. So we're going to cut our first slit, then the second one, and then the third slit, and then the fourth slit. Okay, and then you're going to cut these three squares out, which is just going to leave you with one. So you will just have this one tab left. Okay, and you're going to do that to all four sides. And then we'll do the other end. Okay, and then we're going to cut again those these, when you cut this one, the two squares come out. And then you just cut the one. Okay, and then I'm just going to fold this in again. And then all you have to do is add adhesive to these little tabs right here. So add your adhesive. And then you're going to add adhesive to the top corner right here. So it's going to close the box together. Okay, so let's go ahead and build that. And then once you build the box, you can go ahead and start decorating the inside however you want. And then I just press these two down like so and then I just line these up. Once you make one, you're going to find yourself making them faster and faster. Okay, so that's what creates the box. Super cute. Now we're going to make the cover, and this is where we use the punch board. So this measures three and a half by nine. So on the three and a half inch side, you're going to punch it at one inch, then flip, Punch it again at one inch. Do the other end. Punch at one inch. Then flip. Then punch it at one inch. Okay, so it looks like that. Okay, now you're going to take back your scoreboard. And there's two different ways that you can do this. You can either use your ruler and your X-Acto knife. Or you can use your scoreboard and your X-Acto knife. So I'm just going to use the scoreboard, and I'm going to take a pen, and basically what you're going to do is, where you see this half inch mark and this one inch mark, you're just going to connect those two, and then you're going to place a dot. So I just eyeball it, because I've already made so many of these. And then on the three inch mark, you're going to place a dot as well. And then you're basically going to score it all the way down to the seven inch mark. Okay? So now we're going to take back our scoring tool. And we are going to score it all the way to seven. And then we're going to go to the three inch. And I sometimes I start from the top, but I don't press it. I kind of just guide myself. So I make sure I'm on that scored line. And then you're going to turn. And then you're going to score it one inch. Again, I don't really press it down until I get to that dot. And then I just score. Okay, so that makes that rectangle shape, which basically makes the door. And then for the center, it's going to be at one and three quarters. So again, I don't really press it. I kind of just guide myself. Okay. Now I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and be very careful because this is very sharp. And I just cut. And then I do the same thing with the one inch. 
and then also at the 7 inch. And then it's 7. So basically you're just following those scored lines that you just created. Okay. So now I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to fold back my doors. Do it very carefully. Okay. So this is what you created. Okay. So now we're going to take our little faux drawer, which basically is one by two and a half. And then we're just going to add some pop dots underneath. Well, you know, I don't have my pop dots with me, sorry. So I'm just going to use tape. So just add some tape. And then I, I just eyeball it about a quarter of an inch. And then I just put it underneath. And then you can add pearls, you can add buttons, you know, any embellishments to create the knobs. And then now you're just going to adhere it to the box. So I'm just going to use some wet glue here, which is my favorite, which is a crafter's pick. It's the ultimate glue um, from Hobby Lobby. And I'm just going to add some onto the box. Okay. And now we're just going to line it. I use this as my guide to line with the top of this to make sure it's all nice and lined. And then I'm just going to make sure they're lined on the sides of the box here. Just press it gently like so. And then you got your little armoire. Super cute and fast. Really fun. So that's how you make the small one. Now we're going to make the larger one. And the larger one, it measures, um, the box measures 11 and a half by 7. And you're going to again do the same thing. You're going to get your board here. And we're going to score it half an inch and one inch. So let's get our scoring tool here. So half an inch, one inch, we'll go six inches, and then six and a half. And then we're going to turn half an inch, and then one, and then we're going to do let's see, ten and a half, and eleven. Okay. So let's put that aside and then fold. So the, this one is for the larger dolls. Okay. And then we're gonna do the same thing, we're going to cut our slits, Just cut those out, and just cut these. Last one. Okay, so now let's build the box. Again, I like to fold it one more time. Just push down the tabs and then add the adhesive. Now, of course, if you're going to use lightweight chipboard, you would use red line tape.
and then just build the box. Make sure I'm still in frame here. Sorry. And then I just fold these sides in, like the last one. And then just push these down. Just make sure they line up. Okay. And then, of course, you would embellish it. So that's how you make the larger box. And then to make the cover, again, you're going to take out your punch board. And then this one measures five by ten and a half and then the five inch side you're going to punch at one inch two and a half and then four and then do the same one inch two and a half and then four okay so it looks like that see okay you got that and take back your scoreboard. Same thing, half an inch, one inch. So let's just eyeball it here. But this time we're going to go all the way, we're going to score all the way down to eight and a half. Okay? So I just do my, I call it pretend scoring because I'm not really scoring. And I go up to eight and a half. And then it's going to be at the four and a half inch. So again, I'm just pretending I'm scoring. I forgot to make my mark, but be sure to mark it. And then go up to eight and a half. And then you're going to turn again at one inch. And then this one is at eight and a half. Okay, and then the center, for the center of the door, it's going to be at two and a half. So again, I just kind of eyeball it. Okay, so now we're going to take our X-Acto knife. I'm going to cut. And then turn. Hard to see it. Okay, and then eight and a half. Okay, and then I'm just gonna flip it over and fold. Just make sure you do it carefully. Cause you, you're just working with a half inch here. And fold. Okay, so you got your door here. Now we're going to put the faux door in the front, and this measures, um, let's see here, one by four. And again, you would put pop dots, but I don't. I thought I had it next to me, but I, I apparently I forgot. And I just measure about a quarter inch. Like so, okay. And then we're going to take our box and again add our glue. I just do it really care quickly here. And we're going to make sure we line it with the top here. Okay, make sure our box is okay. Push that down gently. Just kind of squeeze it like that since I did use wet glue. Okay, and there's your there's your large armoire. So that's how you make it. I hope you create some of these. And again, be sure to check out Misty's store down below. And thanks everyone for watching. Bye.